Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for the, um, for the scholarship. I really appreciate it. I've never had a scholarship in my name before, so that's really nice. Honored guests, parents, friends, and the men and women of the class of 1987, in a few short moments, I will state the words that have been spoken to generations of BHS students since 1843. I will declare the class of 1987 fit to graduate. It's my fervent hope that what you remember about your education at Brookline High School is your teachers and administrators' overriding concern about the need to work for peace in the world, to abhor injustice, to stand up and be counted when you see or even sense the presence of intolerance, prejudice, or injustice in your workplace, your college, your neighborhood, and most important, when you sense it in your own heart. But most important to me personally is my hope that the last words you remember spoken by your headmaster in this quadrangle was not about litter. <laughs> it was about justice and not about trash, but about the need to work for peace in this world, not about graffiti, but about tolerance. Remember that all men and women are your brothers and sisters, and you are your brothers and sisters keepers. How many of you are considering a career in teaching? Could you just raise your hands? Let me see some hands. Okay, that's not enough hands. I want to see a lot more hands. I want to see a lot more teachers in this group. But what I want to say to you is that you should emulate one teacher in particular. Now, I could pick out a whole lot of teachers of Brookline High School whom you might emulate, but I want to talk about one, the head teacher, Dr. Robert McCarthy. Pause for a minute and uh, look at your headmaster. Uh, he, he, didn't, uh, he didn't always look that way. As a matter of fact, uh, when he was a high school student, he was not a person whom a headmaster would smile upon. In fact, he barely graduated. He did graduate. He became a Marine. He became a high school social studies teacher. He became a Harvard scholar. He became a headmaster of distinction. So when you think of Dr. Robert McCarthy, remember those three things and strive for his moral courage take hold of his idealism, but most of all, become more than you are. Thank you.